this week's episode of Working with Evernote, I'm going to show you a really, really neat email trick. Hello and welcome to episode 55 of my Working with Evernote series. And in this week's episode, I want to show you a way that you can actually use email to send a note to a specific notebook or to a specific tag or both of them. And this is taking advantage of the subject field in your email and using hashtags and the Afrasan sign to be able to get your note to go to a specific notebook. Now, my advice, to be fair on this one, is actually to send all your notes to your inbox and process your inbox on a weekly or a daily basis, depending on how many notes you send to Evernote every day. But for some of you, you may have some notes that have a specific reason to be in a notebook. It's not something that you necessarily need to re review every week, but it's just reference material that you need to keep in one place. And this is where this trick can come in very, very handy. So I'm gonna show you how to do that using email and the tagging system in Evernote to be able to get notes to go to a specific notebook and have a specific label attached. Okay, so let's get straight into this. Okay, so here we have uh, my email at the ready. So I'm just gonna type in Evernote and that will send it to my Evernote account. And I'm gonna put it in, now this has to go into the subject. So what we're gonna do is we type in subject and then double dot, and I'm gonna call this exercise and diet because we're having an exercise and diet week on this channel we then put a space and i'm going to put at now at is for your notebook so incubator and i always put that in capitals because that is the capitalization i use capitalization for that notebook and then we use the uh, the hashtag for the tag so personal uh, in oops in oh personal and then I've got dash and then self-improvement. Now, the thing is, you're going to need to know your actual uh, tags, how you've written them, and your notebook. But as long as you know that, and if you're regularly, uh, if you're regularly sending these in, actually, I don't need, I'm sorry, I don't know why I put subject. You don't need to do that. The subject's going to come up. Uh, as you have it in the subject letter. So there we go. So now I'm going to put this is just a test. And what we're going to do is I'm going to send that now. So that should go. And if I just open up my Newton, it'll tell me whether it's gone. It looks like it's sent. Okay, so that's now been sent. Let's go into my Evernote now. And I'm going to click on my inbox. I've cleared that for today. And I'm going to bring in it's not going to go into my inbox actually it's going to should go into my inbox and there we go oops we'll just bring that in again there we go and there it is it's now come in this is just a test exercise and diet it's got the the tag is exactly how i want it it's gone into the right notebook and that is simply it that's all you have to do so let me just go back into the original email so that went from Apple. So we're going to go into my sent messages and this one went to Evernote. So as you can see, what I've done here is the title of the note and at incubator and uh, the hashtag for personal self-improvement. Now, just a quick tip here for those of you who actually use text expander as I do up here. So you can see my text expander is here. You can create some text expander snippets so that you can actually just trigger the, uh, the correct note for yourself. And that will email the task directly into whatever notebook you want. And the only thing you need to remember is the name of your notebook 
and the name of your tag. Everything else will just work perfectly as normal. So as you can see in my Evernote, this has come in exactly as I set it up in my email. Okay, I hope you found this tip really useful. I'm sure you can get a lot of use out of it, particularly those of you who are using your, um, using your email a lot more than I do to be able to send tasks directly into Evernote. Okay, hopefully you found this useful. If you have any comments at all, please leave them in the, in the comment section below. And also, guys, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get the latest tips and tricks on using Evernote. And I'm sure many of the tips either already done or will come in the future will prove very, very useful for you. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you.